Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to create dynamic notification in our Android application. So now this tutorial consists of two things. First one is showing a custom UI in the notification. And second one is how to update your, that UI uh, dynamically uh, in the notification itself. So the same thing is called as in iOS is called as live activity. So from iOS 16 onwards, iOS so provides this live activity feature. So basic, what is what is uh, live activity is basically, uh, it is a custom UI in notification and the notification update itself even though the device is locked and uh, user don't need to open the unlock the phone. They can just check the from the lock screen itself and the notification updates itself. So that is called as live live activity in iOS. But unfortunately, Android doesn't provide this feature natively as of now. But there is one way we can replicate the live activity in our Android application itself. By updating the notification with the same notification ID, we can uh, simulate a live activity in our Android application also. So that is the aim of this tutorial. So for now, let's get started. So here I am in an uh, Android project, uh, which is a very basic project. That is, I have used a data binding here. So that is code for this one. And in the activity main, there is only one thing that is a button which says that shows no, show notification and i have given the same idea show notification here so on clicking on this button will show a notification and then update it dynamically so first one for the first let's uh, write the code for creating a notification what we need to do we need to declare permission for the notification which is required from android uh, api 33 and onwards so we need this post notifications permission and uh, in the main activity we need to ask this permission in runtime so we'll write just the well permissions this is will this will be an array of permissions so permission will be manifest dot permission dot post notification and now we also need to create a notification channel from some android version onwards so for that we need to write a code well channel equal to notification channel and this takes two parameters first one is id that is string uh, notification uh, channel id so we need two things uh, so we'll declare them globally first one is a uh, let me declare them as a const well const well channel id it will be a string so we can write anything as my uh, my channel and uh, second thing that we need is a notification id as we know notif every notification has an id if you are new to notifications then i have created a separate tutorial for notifications uh, i am i will provide the link in the description also so please go to that first if you are uh, not aware of how to show the notification const well notification id and this will be a integer so let's we can give any id uh, just given a hundred here so notification channel it requires first a channel id so i'll just pass channel id and uh, what it needs as a second parameter it needs a name so that name is uh, visible when we go to app settings and there we can see a specific channel created for our notification and here we can give a name which can be read by the user to understand what what is this channel for so we can just write general notifications and what third one it requires i think priority right importance so notification manager dot we can just write importance default and now we need to create a notification manager object notification manager equal to notification sorry get system service we need to call because the notification is a system service and we need to pass notification service and we need to cast as a as notification manager now we need to uh, call not uh, create notification channel on this object and pass this channel so this will create our notification channel so here it is showing a warning because what it is saying let's hover on it it is saying field request api 33 because as we already know post notification permission can uh, should only be asked from the api over 33 and onwards so 
so if we just can't uh, alt enter on this and make it as surround with if version or let's do one thing let's sur let's remove it from here and we'll make it here uh, below the channel let's say after channel creation here we need to ask the notification permission at runtime so if the device we are running uh, that contain uh, that has the os uh, api level 33 and uh, upward then only we will request the notification permission that's why i have removed that condition from here and here inside this one we will write request permissions uh, and it will ask for two things permissions array or uh, we can just write activity compact dot request permission so this asks for three things this activity second is permissions array and third one is a request code so we can just pass 200 here because we are not going to uh, handle the on result thing of this in this tutorial because this is not a focus of this tutorial and uh, let me remove this condition from here we can directly assign the notification array because we will be only asking the permission uh, of the notification if this condition matches so this will ask for notification and if user clicks yes then uh, our app will have the ability to uh, show the notifications now what we need to do we need to create a notification object we have created the channel well notification equal to notification dot build so in this what it asks it asks for context so we can just pass this uh, sorry can just pass this and for the second what it asks it uh, let me do it again notification dot builder now it is also the first thing is context second is channel id so context we can pass this and second is channel id that we have already created can i do this is my channel now we can just append the things here and we can create a notification like a set small icon we can just pass our uh, meet map icon r dot meet map dot ic launcher now let's understand how to uh, create a custom ui and how to set the custom ui to notification for that we first need to create a separate layout file for our notification to work so for that i have already uh, created a three files here stage one two and three if you can see here so what example i am referring to let's say we have uh, we are ordered a pizza from Domino's or any other service uh, of your choice and we have that application installed in our phone so once we place the order there can be uh, three to four possible statuses first one is your order placed second status is you are being baked Sec third one is out for delivery and fourth one is delivered so these four stages we want to show in the notification and they update themselves automatically in the notification itself just like replication of live activity so this example i have uh, i am using here so that's why i have created three png files here stage one this stage one has order placed being baked out for delivery and delivered so we are basically uh, showing a uh, some one image view and this image view we are going to uh, change so at first place when the notification will be shown we will be showing this method your order is already placed and it is being baked in the stage 2 we will then update the uh, notification after some time and this state will be updated it will show now out for delivery and in uh, will uh, after some few seconds or some time we will again re uh, uh, go towards uh, stage 3 we will change this uh, view to stage 3 and here we will show that is delivered so this will be automatically changing we are will be using handler for this and uh, but uh, this is a very uh, re very uh, real life scenario i just wanted to create so and this is going to be an interesting example so let's just uh, keep watching so let me create a new layout file for this one notification 
layout here and for the custom notification we need to use the remote views but the remote views cannot uh, have uh, normal layout file that is the layout file is normal but we cannot access write any type of layout in that like constant layout is not allowed there if you want to see what different types of layouts we can uh, we are allowed in the remote views so you can just go to this link uh, developer.android.com reference android widget remote views so this shows that <clears throat> the remote views is limited to support for the following layouts this adapter view flipper frame layout grid view will be using the linear layout for this layout designing and the widgets also uh, analog button image button these only things are uh, allowed in the remote views if we want to create the view for the notification we need to use the remote view and this remote view can have only these types of widgets and these types of layout so moving back to our layout file we need to first change this to the linear layout and we need to provide a orientation to this so we will be posting a vertical and here we want to simulate the process with the help of image views as i have just shown we have three images of different stages uh, width is wrap content uh, sorry match parent height uh, instead of wrap content i'll just write a 70 dp yes and uh, let me give this an id as a stage view yeah i mean uh, different stages that's why just the stage view here i'll put an src directly at the stage one so you can see here we are seeing the view of the order place first one uh, for the first stage is a order place and it is being baked so this one yeah, you can adjust the uh, layouts in this according to your own choice but the 70 dp it just i have tried and tested this uh, with this uh, specific height that's why i am giving it and yes that's it that is uh, it for the notification layout now moving back to the main activity uh, we have already created notification uh, about this one let us create a object of uh, remote views where remote view is equal to remote views what it asks uh, is to ask for uh, two things first one is a package name so we can just write package name uh, this will return as package name and second one is a layout id so our layout is r dot layout sorry r dot layout dot notification layout yeah that's it we have remote views initialized here now how we can attach this remote views to this notification so we have an attribute dot set custom big content view here we need we, it asks us uh, remote views so we can just pass this remote views and now we can just ask a build and we can also set non set this sorry uh, that's it that's not an important important attribute so this is it our notification object has been built now what we want once a user clicks on this button show notification we want to just uh, show the notification and uh, which method show the notification that is notify so i just binding dot show notification dot set on click listener on this button here i'll use the notification dot note sorry no notification uh, we need to use notification manager dot notify and need to pass this notification oh yes it requires notification id here so we will pass notification id and then notification so this notification will be triggered so let's now run our application and see how it works so now our app is running and as this device is running api 33 so it requires a notification permission so it is just asking just after starting uh, to allow uh, this app to send notification so i'll just click on this allow and i'll just click on this notification
custom notification. So as soon as I have clicked, we are able to see this custom UI with the first state that is order placed and it is now being baked. So this is the first state. Now what we want to do, we want to update this dynamically. So in case of push notification, we can just use a broadcast receiver and then update, update this notification locally. But in order to simulate this uh, offline, I am just uh, I am going to use the handlers. The handlers are basically just uh, used to delay the process uh, to delay the code execution, whatever it is written inside uh, their braces. So let me clear this and uh, uh, let's see how we can do that. So after this note, after this notify, what we are going to do? We are going to create a handler object here, which accepts the looper dot get main looper inside this post delayed it uh, requires first parameter as a lambda and second parameter as a uh, milliseconds so let's write 8000 milliseconds so after 8 seconds this will be automatically updated so whatever the code i'll write inside this handler this will be automatically executed after delay of 8000 milliseconds so after this what i want to do i want to set a different image uh, that is updated image for the status uh, that is stage 2 in this notification layout i want to set image of the next stage that is out for delivery so for that i need to use the remote views object and let's see how we can do that we can just write remote views dot set image view resource we have one method it requires two things first one is a view id so we can just write r dot id dot stage view that is an id of our drawable uh, sorry of our image view and second it requires a src source id that is our image in the drawable r dot drawable dot stage 2 after this i again need to notify the notification in order to update in order to uh, trigger a notification but i don't want to trigger a second another notification i want that notification itself to update that's why i'll use the same notification id so that that notification itself will be updated and will be simulated as a live activity so this is how it will work and now i'll just copy this code further and i'll again i want to do the same thing for the stage 3 as well after a little of few seconds i'll just uh, make it as a 15 15000 so 15 seconds and this 8000 will be subtracted from this so uh, after uh, triggering of the second stage the third uh, the third stage will be notified on after the 6 seconds so let me replace this with stage 3 yeah that's it now let's rerun our application and see how it behaves differently. Yes, our application is running. I'll just click on show notification. You can just see. And after a few seconds, you will see another. I'm not clicking anywhere. So after, yeah, say, uh, second stage has been displayed. And now automatically third stage will be displayed as well. Yeah, delivered. This is a simulation that notification is updating itself and this is a simulation of the live activity. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you are now clear how to show a custom notification and that uh, make, make the dynamic with the help of remote views and uh, the simulation of live activity with the help of handlers. So I hope that is very clear to you. If you still have some doubts, you can put your doubts in the comment box below. I will try my best to answer those. And if you like this video then please click on like share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you will be stay updated whenever such new amazing video will be published we'll meet in the next tutorial with some other interesting topic till then goodbye happy coding